Hello and welcome to the new show. I'm Eric Chabro of Information Week. Today's features, IT lessons learned from Katrina, on the first anniversary of the hurricane making landfall, we'll hear from the CIO of the American Red Cross. And our other story, how net addicts cope with limited broadband access while vacationing in remote locales. What's going on? Our infrastructure's out of control. None of our software works together. You don't have the people to manage it, so I cloned you. You did what? Hi. Hi. Lifted a DNA sample from your keyboard. Gil, we're migrating to IBM middleware. Everything's integrated, efficient, flexible, secure. People can be productive again. Well, what do I do with all the use? Give us a raise. raise. Take back control of your infrastructure with middleware from IBM. Tuesday marks the first anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. And unlike last year, the American Red Cross says it's ready to handle such a gargantuan catastrophe should one strike again. In 2005, the Red Cross's legacy IT systems couldn't quickly scale to meet the demands to service victims of the most deadly hurricane to come ashore in America in nearly 80 years. Here's Red Cross CIO Steve Cooper. Just the sheer dimension of Katrina is unlike anything that anybody had ever experienced what drove the learning and that's what drove the recognition that in a catastrophic disaster we have to have a different service delivery model. That delivery model includes new IT systems that identify where to place shelters, suggest evacuation routes, and to put families in touch with loved ones displaced by disaster. The Red Cross also is implementing a new call center to be operated by Verizon for Katrina-sized disasters. The Red Cross's existing virtual call center staffed by volunteer caseworkers couldn't scale to meet the demands of Katrina. We can't operate that way. We can't say to somebody who literally is in desperate need of services, uh, well, well, I'll tell you what, where are you? We'll call you back. We had so many calls coming in. At one point in time, we had a million calls a day coming in to this center. Unfortunately, we were only able to handle at any one time about 3% of the incoming calls. That's all we could get up and running. The new call center will handle up to 100,000 calls a day, scaling higher if needed. You work all year and you finally get to go on a relaxing vacation to a place like this, Long Lake here in New York's Adirondack Mountains. It's a complete disconnect from your daily workplace environment. There's no cell service for 40 miles around, and none of the local motels or lodges offer broadband access. It's the perfect antidote for the workaholic. But as a must-be connected addict like me, I'm going through withdrawal. And I'm not alone. My business doesn't stop. I have to take it with me, and I still need to keep tap on more of my particular projects or with um, people who are working for me or doing things. When I'm home and I'm at my computer, I check it several times a day. But like being up here, I'll go three or four days without checking it, and I'm not obsessed about it, although I'm kind of anxious to go do it if it's been a couple of days. The Long Lake Library is one of the few public places in the Adirondacks with a wireless broadband connection. Every day we've had people uh, using the wireless. They come and they can use it when we're closed, so they're in the parking lot. They're able to use it on the front porch during off hours. We don't shut it off. But should vacationers shut off their cell phones and laptops while on holiday? More on that when we return. What's going on? Our infrastructure's out of control. None of our software works together. You don't have the people to manage it, so I cloned you. You did what? Hi. Hi. Lifted a DNA sample from your keyboard. Gil, we're migrating to IBM middleware. Everything's integrated. Efficient, flexible, secure. People can be productive again. Well, what do I do with all the use? Give us a raise. raise. Take back control of your infrastructure with middleware from IBM. Would knowledge workers and managers cut short their vacations to such places as New York's Adirondack Mountains if they can't get cell or net access to stay linked with their jobs? Long Lake Library Director Emily Farr thinks they might. That in the summertime when people are away, everyone's lives have become so busy that um, it gives them a chance to possibly stay longer, to stay an extra day if they can use, uh, have access to their work through 
through their laptops. It's a really great thing because they're, hey, they get to stay longer. But psychologist Sarah Course, well connected all year as a director at the Council for Relationships, likes being untethered from the net while vacationing in the Adirondacks. And I like the forced absence from the routine uh, of, you know, being always available, being able to turn on information all the time. I like to tune it out. Well, I think it's more peaceful. There's a lot to do around here that connects you with nature and with sort of natural rhythms of life. Not going on the computer kind of fits with that. It's sort of slowing down life and getting things more simple. After about a week in Long Lake hooked to his laptop, photographer Michael Solari will take a break from being connected. This may be actually the last day that I'm really going to take an avid look at this thing because after a lot of my I's are dotted and T's are crossed, I think I'm just going to try actually not to have to come back here until maybe next Tuesday or Wednesday. I totally want to zone out. <laughs> it takes a while to unwind. It takes a while to get yourself disconnected from the frenzy of how you live and your if life. If you don't do that disconnecting, then all the sort of inner rhythms of your body don't dis disconnect either. I, I truly think it takes people about a week to unwind, a week to enjoy their vacation, and maybe a week to get ready to go back to work. So I recommend a minimum of three weeks vacation. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to take three straight weeks off. All I got to do is convince my boss. I wouldn't bet on that. That's today's show. I'm Eric Chabro. Thanks for watching. And join us again next time when John Sote returns to the new show. You're currently the 12th caller, and we expect to be able to serve you in 20 minutes. Please hold, and we'll get to you as soon as we can.